like. Hello and welcome back again and um, we've got another tutorial for you. Today I'm going to be going through how you can use Illustrator as your own digital sketch pad and then refine those sketches into highly polished vector illustrations. I'm just going to use a standard graphics tablet. If you don't have one of these you can just use pen and paper and scan it in. Let's just get straight into it. So we're in Adobe Illustrator and we're going to be going through how we can turn this into our own little sketch pad and then we can make our rough sketches into nice refined vectors. So to start off with we're going to be making our own custom brush. So what you want to do is just hit L on your keyboard and just make a circle. So I want to make it a black fill. So all I have to do now is just if I zoom in a little bit and hit A on my keyboard to direct selection and then select this end bit and just hit delete. All I want to do then is just click and drag this node out a little bit so it gets to around here. Then these little handles here, I want to click and drag them till they snap to this center point just there. Like so. Now all I need to do is just do shift and alt and then click and drag until it snaps to the center point. Keeping shift held down, then all I need to do is rotate it. Highlight it all and then do command J to join them. Then all I want to do is just go over to window and then go over to brushes. This is going to open up my brushes panel and then from there I just hit this little plus icon and then go to art brush and then hit OK. Then it's going to open up this dialog box and the only thing that I need to do now is just go on to method and go on to tints. This just means when you want to change the colour of it, you can do. If you don't select it, you're going to be stuck with just using black the whole time. So just hit OK and then all I have to do now is just delete. If I zoom out a little bit now and just hit B on my keyboard, it's going to open up my brushes panel. This new one that I've made is selected, so all I have to do is just do that and you'll see it's tapered off the lines and it's taken that shape we used before and just uses that for the property of our brush so if you just have a little sketch around you'll see it can create some really nice hand-drawn effects really easily on here so if you just have a little play around and just have a little go of making some random shapes so you can feel a bit more used to using it I'm just using a standard graphics tablet. You could use this with a mouse, but I'd probably recommend just using pen and paper and scanning it in. This is just a really cool way that you can just make more digital sketches there and then on Illustrator. So if I delete all these now, so now that we've got the brushes made, what, we're gonna, what we can start to do now is start doing our sketch. I already know what I want to be sketching, so I'm going to be doing a coffee decanter. So I already know what one looks like, so I've got a good image in my head. So I'm just going to start by sketching the main bit that you're going to be holding and then expand out from there. So because these are sketches, they can be as rough as you want. You don't have to be precious about them. You can do all the tinkering when you start building the actual vector. So all you want to do is just make these really rough. Okay, so I think I've got my main rough sketch done. As you can see, you can start drawing and sketching them and then select these individual elements out and move them around so you can start to refine your sketch a little bit more. So this is what I'm going to base everything off. So I'm not going to need to edit this now. So all I want to do is just highlight everything and then go to Object and then go on Expand Appearance. That's just going to make all those strokes that we made one whole shape. Then all I want to do is just go to window and then go over to my pathfinder panel which is here and then just hit this button there and then that's just going to make it one whole shape 
and all I have to do is just set the transparency to around 20%. So then if I go over to my layers panel, so just window and then layers, and then just lock that layer and then create a new one by clicking this here. So everything I do now is going to be above this sketch. So what I want to do is start making some basic shapes and then making them a lot more refined. I'm going to make half of them. So this half I'm going to make and then flip it over to the other side. So this is just really simple. And then if you want to know the techniques that I'm going to be using to form this, you can select, go on my other video, which is going to be around here. Okay, so this is my main outline done. So if I go over to my layers panel, if I just hide this layer, you'll see this is the original sketch that I had. And then if I drop this new one on, this is the new refined outline that I'm working with. So as you can see, I've not strayed too far away from what I originally sketched. The things like this line here have brought out a little bit, angled it a bit more and things like that. So you don't have to be tied down to what you originally sketched. This is just a rough guide that you can use and you can start refining things as you start making that more refined vector. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start adding some colour to each of these shapes here. So I want to create a new layer, so just select the bottom layer and then hit plus. So what I want to do is I just want to hit P on my keyboard and then that's going to open up the pen tool. So what I want to do is just start clicking on each of the corners of the shapes that I want to fill in, like so, until they are filled in and connected like that. So if I go over to my colour palette, which is just here, I'm going to start using some browns. So I'm going to use this brown for the main holder and then I want to go around every other thing and do the same. So these are my main base colours, but obviously because this is going to be a glass container, it's not going to look like glass because this bit doesn't have a fill yet. So what I want to do, if I open up my layers panel and just lock this layer, all I need to do is just hit the plus sign and then start drawing in some, fill in this shape here, like we did before with the pen tool, just click around till they're all filled in. like this but then on your swatches just make it white obviously you can't see anything but just keep going with it and do this top bit so they're both done and then what you want to do now is just select both of them and then go over to opacity and turn it down to around 50 percent but one issue that i found is it's made this coffee here look a bit too pale so what we're going to do is just select this one, Command C, and then delete it. So go back to your layers panel, and then just lock the layer we're on. Go back to the layer with all your colours in, and then just do Command F to paste it in place, and then do Command and the left square bracket to send it behind until it sits behind this coffee. So what we're going to do now is just start adding some shadows and highlights, and then we're going to be there. So what you can do here, because you've already created the brush, if you go back to your brush brushes and just select that one that we made before, and then what you want to do is just make sure that you've selected the black again. And what we can do is we can use this brush to add our shadows and highlights. So if you just start going around the areas that you want to add shadows to, 
and just start adding them in. If you do want to undo them, just Command Z and then just redo it. And then if they're not quite perfect, what you can do is you can just position them. So just select them and then just start moving them around with your arrow keys. And then start bringing them up a little bit. If you want to make them thicker, all you have to do is go over to your stroke section here and then just make this one thicker and then I might make this one a little bit thinner. Okay, so that's my shadows and highlights added. So if I go over to my layers panel, I can just pretty much hide the original sketch that we had. So one issue that we've got now is we can't see the highlights we've added onto the glass. So if we lock this layer, select the bottom one and hit the plus sign, we can just add a quick background here. So if I zoom out and then just hit M on your keyboard and then all you've got to do is just hold Shift and Alt and then just drag it out and then select whatever colour you want to make as the background. I'm going to go with this and then if I zoom in again and then just lock that layer so it's not going anywhere and you can see as we've done that we can now see the highlights that we've added to the glass. So what I want to do is just unlock the layers and then start having to play around with these final highlights that are on the glass. So because it's glass I want to use a hundred percent transparency just so you get that reflectiveness of that the glass adds so we're pretty much done so it's been a really nice and simple coffee decanter that you can illustrate use the brushes panel to use illustrator as your sketch pad and turn those thoughtful sketches into nice polished full vectors make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you